Hello JMA's 2025 students. as you are well aware, uh, your first attempt of JMA's 2025 will be in the month of January 8. We are right now in Nalabba 2024 and you have about two and a half months to go before you write your first JMA's 2025 exam attempt. Here are four tips from my side based on our experience in coaching students for JMA's and AIEEE for the last 23 years. Uh, these two and a half months must be invested in converting as many weak areas into strengths. So instead of just working on your strong topics and making that super strong, it would be advisable that you convert as many big topics into strong topics. It's alright if you are not super strong in a few topics in the J syllabus, but out let us let's say 110 chapters in the syllabus. Even if you are good at around 80 to 90 of these chapters, you have a very good chance of getting high percentiles in the J examination. So this is the first tip I would like to give. The second tip is you need to do a lot of PYQs, the previous year's questions, because there is a propensity in NTA to repeat similar type of questions in the J mains. Especially the last three, four years question papers. If you go through and you see the gender of questions asked in the J mains, it will be a good idea to be thorough with all those questions and the solutions so that your score in the upcoming J mains would be boosted, which is the second thing. The third tip is to give large number of practice full syllabus J mains tests. So basically give mock tests of J mains full syllabus as many as you can and do the right analysis after every test. So this is the third tip. And the fourth tip is also linked to the test series. When you give a J mains test because it's a plus four minus one system. This plus four minus one system is a peculiar system. There is an implicit hint in this marking scheme and that hint is you must attempt large number of questions. So generally those students who get very high percentiles in chain mates, 99.9 plus, 99 plus, or 97 plus, or 98 plus, all these kids attempt large number of questions. Many of them attempt all 75 out of 75 questions. I would say everyone should attempt 75 out of 75. But make sure that you do not limit your attempts to just 40 or 50 or even 60. Attempt large number of questions. So you can make it 70 plus or 65 plus, that could be advisable. Alright? So even if you get wrong answers, because of this plus 4 minus 1 system, it gets offset many attempts. You can do it as an experiment and check it out for yours. But generally, more the number of attempts you do, greater the marks you get in JNA's exam. So remember this four tip as well. So utilize these four ticks and study accordingly in the next two and a half months and do well in the upcoming J Mains 2025 examination. Wish you all the best.